The Weird Bubble. Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen, and shield wall. Every now and again, you just want to take a break for the from the strategic, mindful games of Cossacks, Age of Empires, etc., and just slash some shit in Shield Wall. So actually, we have a map that I haven't played previously. It's called Colosseum, which I guess is a Colosseum. You know, the one in Rome as a big arena where the gladiators used to fight back in the day. And as you can see on the map, we all have our spawning points, and then we have two flags in the middle that doesn't give uh, the um, from which you can't recruit any units unless you have um, lost your main base, so to speak. So we're gonna start off by choosing our choosing our civilization, our faction. I've been playing a lot of Rome re recently um, as faction on Shield Wall, not the Total War game, which. I, uh, however, would be very open to start playing if you would, uh, if you would like that. So I actually will be looking into Persia. I'm gonna play some Persia. Not Xerxes, Princess of Persia. Nebuchadnezzar is quite cool. Darius, Xerxes. I actually think I'm gonna go with Nebuchadnezzar because Persia, of course, they can uh, recruit their units so cheap for uh, for almost nothing if you upgrade it enough. So. Um, they can be a good version of, um, I mean, Rome gets massive income. That's how they deal with it. Persia can just spit out troops for nothing. That's how they deal with it. And let's face off against Greece, Gaul, and Egypt. Why not? Versing Gatorix, Cleopatra. Yeah, I can, I can face off against Cleopatra. And for the Gauls, Comius sounds cool. Greece. I don't want to fight Leonidas or Achilles or Alexander. No, let's face Alexander. Okay. And you can be... Yeah, that looks like a good color. Is that pink? Pinkish? Yeah. We have normal difficulty on everyone. The same amount of income. The same amount of starting gold. We have 20 minutes though. Usually the games are 30 minutes. But let's try 20 for this one. So let's go. Here he is, Nebuchadnezzar. Really cool. But okay, where do I even start? Let's start with hiring. First of all, I need a standard bearer because. Um, oh wow, look at this. There really is a Colosseum. I've never seen this before. This is really cool. Look at all this. Just imagine coding all of these, all of these individual units. I don't think they're coding them. They're coding them individually, though. But still, okay. So uh, I start off with a standard bearer because I want um, I want him to start level up as quickly as possible, so that we can start getting some buffs up in here. Okay, doesn't seem like I will be able to run up that way. Oh wow, they are really rocking the units right here. No. Let's see if we can start, yeah, if we can start pulling them back towards our defenders. No, they did not want that. Of course not, because if they were to come back to our defenders, they would completely turn them into Swiss cheese. Yeah, I just stepped out of the way for, uh, no, okay. Okay, no, I do not want you to split up. Okay. Now we're getting to that crucial point of choosing our signs. This is not the uh, the main sign, of course, but still we need to st uh, think about what we want to start um, focusing on. Do we want them to be fast and attack f uh, fast, or do we want them to heal up quicker and move faster, or do we want to decrease the cost of them so we can start spamming out more? Quant Quality or quantity? I'm actually more of a quantity type of guy, especially when I'm playing uh, a map I haven't played before. Let's go. Oh, did they actually? No. There we go. You don't mess up my standard bearer, man. Okay, look at that. We got another uh, point. So then I'll actually be putting that one on um, on cost as well because then I get the double bonus please guys can you start helping me out a little bit 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I just died against the regular soldier. I'm so embarrassed. So embarrassed. And also because I haven't gotten the uh, this upgrade so that I uh, decrease my respawn time. It takes 10 seconds for me to come back. And also, it kind of feels like I am um, I have way too many defenders, but still I want to have this last place of um, this last place uh, of of um, of sanctuary basically, so they won't be able to break through that one. Hopefully, I can always run back for cover. This one hasn't been taken. I can run in from that point, that point, that point, that point. Okay, and yellow looks like he really he's really starting to pull ahead. Because we all get the same amount of points for our base, for our standard bases, from our start bases, but then we have these two points in the middle. No one's taken C, but D is heavily contested. So we're gonna have to go with. We're gonna have to go with. Um, go for C. Yeah, C. Looks like pink. Oh my god, they are so pushing on content of their units as well. And they're Gaul. I don't like facing up Gaul because they're so cool. And now they're gonna get points for that one. And we run back. Also my standard is still dead. And so I won't be getting any bonuses. Let's see. Okay, I think... Yeah, they're running for yellow. Mellow yellow... So we can actually run and claim the C base for ourselves. And yellow is now without a base. Or they of course have F, their, uh, stand, their um, starting base. But I'm taking C from pink right now. And actually I'm going to see if I can... No, they will most likely start recruiting out of C anytime now. Okay. Uh, so now we've taken this flag. I got my standard back, but of course I can't recruit from this one. And now here comes Egypt. Now I don't want to face up against that. I don't want to waste uh, money or Persian lives on fighting against her. No, I'm not. I don't want to do that. However, I do want to get a standard main sign. Do I want to decrease higher cost, flag capture speed, attack speed? Hmm. Actually, if I can go with uh, decrease the higher cost, then I will be. Then I can only push for like attack speed and movement speed later on. Flag capture speed is of course very good as well if I want to be fast at capturing flags, which of course I do. So I'm gonna go with that one. I'm not a big fan of taking that as a main sign because it feels so meh. It doesn't feel like um, attack speed. You can attack quickly. You can deal a lot of damage. It's cool. And uh, decreased cost. You can push out soldiers like it's no one's bits business. They can uh, be recruited like, like so fast and for nothing basically. But instead, just yeah, I'm gonna capture flags really quickly. That just feels so yeah, that not very cool at all. Let's see if I can maybe claim. Can I even run up to that uh, standard? I don't think so. Let's go, boys! Oh, wow. Yeah, we got another point for the standard. I'm gonna go with attack speed on that one. There we go. Oh my god, we are getting our asses crushed. And my standard is gonna die again! Oh, look at the points! What? Do we only get... Oh, that's right. Maybe it's that way that the blue bases don't generate any points. So basically, you guys are completely useless right now. I'm gonna kill some of you. Then I'm just gonna go with Axeman. And okay, we are five minutes in and I'm completely miscalculated this entire enterprise. Because you only get points from keeping the, uh, the, the middle bases, these ones. So basically, the upgrades that I'm going to want to have are these one, Protection Aura and Healing Aura. And like, yeah, I'm not going to focus any on defending my own base because uh, this one is going to have to be my focus to just keep all of my battles right in here. And also, I guess, okay, here comes blue. 
and they're gonna run in that direction so hopefully yellow is going to be facing off against them if we run back right here look at this beautiful we actually managed to split them up somehow don't ask me how but we did okay and Greece are coming along as well so I want reduces melee damage by 10% it works in a big radius of friendly flag so I just want 200 gold and then I will be able to deal to take more um, basically to take more punishment in this flag right here because melee damage is gonna be decreased and of course we at least want to oh my god I just lost my standard okay but we managed to defend this flag and I'm very very grateful for that come on however I, just, I need to run back to recruit more of my troops and that's not possible it's not possible to do that while yeah I can also bang my shields bitch okay let's see if I can capture this one oh my oh yeah I just thought I was yellow please pink please Oh, freak, freak frack. Okay, let's just pull back. Uh, we can have them fight over that position for uh, for a little while. They're not gonna come. Uh, yeah, they're gonna turn back right now. When we got our defenders. Okay, I will want closer, shorter respawn time, of course, for my uh, standard because it's gonna be really important to keep that little that dude alive. Okay, and now yellow is taking my standard. That's not cool, that man. That's not cool at all. Okay, yeah, that's not good. That's not good. So basically, we got split up between two armies and got completely crushed. Got, got completely clapped. So, we're gonna have to start over. Okay new army look at the points we are starting to do okay yellow is gonna be our main adversary and basically so far we're gonna just try to help every uh, we're gonna help every other faction against Egypt so every every strike we can deal yellow we're gonna take it and so now you can see that pink is starting to take over their base. Totally cool with us. We don't mind. And now it's gonna be a big fight right over there. But that's, like I said, completely cool with us as well. We just wanna generate our points. And now yellow is gonna come trying to take back their base from blue or their, their flag from blue. Like I said, completely cool with us. We're just gonna stand here, rack up the points because we have one of our flags. Okay, I will want Immortals eventually, but like I said, this is only 20 minute game, so it's gonna have to go pretty quickly. I want to decrease this time as well. There's so many things I want. I want to increase my limit of units because basically I want to get a lot of units and I want to get them cheap as well. Pink so far seems to be a bit more standoffish. While blue is starting to rack up points. As you can see yellow is completely still while I'm just racking them up one second at a time. But no pink why? I thought we were bros. Come on man. Okay no actually I'm gonna take this fight. You're not gonna bully us away man. Yeah, come on. We're not gonna go away easily. Ah, I'm gonna go away easily. No. 
Okay, but the good news is I have 200 in the bank and I just increased my uh, my unit ceiling, the maximum amount of units I can take. So I'm just gonna go and recruit a whole bunch of units. I think I can get 25. Yeah, 25 right now. And as you can see, I'm only on 17. I have zero experience points uh, right now to add for my standard though. So I would just want to get attack uh, speed, movement speed, maybe decreasing cost as well. But these ones are gonna be the main, uh, the most important ones for me. So that the units I have are as effective as possible. Okay, pink are surrendering their flag while uh, and going to strike yellow. Completely cool with that. However, I'm gonna take the opportunity to take the pink flag from them. I don't want, uh, I want to get any amount of points that I can. And as you can see, pink and yellow are starting to assemble for a little battle right here. So I'm just gonna stand right here. And just rack up experience point for my standard. Oh no. Come on. And now. Okay, we got another point. Gonna go with the tax speed on that one hoss. And now blue is gonna finish off yellow, but pink is standing here as well. So I will just need to have all of my troops following me and I will save as many of them as I possibly can. And then pink starting to move in. No one has that flag yet. So most likely yellow is gonna run off to that one. Okay, there we go. Now I will need some missiles, big fan of those. Okay, just recruit some more Axemen and then go straight over to capture the pink flag again. You can see at the points up to the left that I'm just a little bit behind yellow right now, but it feels like the strategy of just letting everyone hammer on yellow and me not me not dealing with yellow and at all, basically just letting all of the other civilizations or factions rather take care of uh, take care of them is uh, paying off but it looks like the greek troops are quite strong as well not greek yeah those are greek come on man really brave really respect that but still okay pink is coming along but so is yellow and they're gonna face off right outside these gates and we're gonna take that opportunity to take some experience upgrade the uh, attack speed and as you can see, one gives 3% attack speed and the second one gives, <coughs> sorry, a total of 5% attack speed and 5% movement speed as well. So they're going to be a lot quicker. Okay, and now we've got our second wave of Pilas. Would be so cool if there was like an option of fatigue or something like that. I know that it was just, um, it would just deal more damage to me <laughs> but because after because these ones have already been in a complete bloodbath they would be uh, most likely quite fatigued and then I would be able to I would be able to um, benefit from that by coming in late coming in late yeah Okay, you should start. Yeah, there there we go. Now they're starting to pull back. Yeah, hello. Let's bang our shields just because we're cool. And completely miss our javelin throw as that. Okay, let's go. You want to go there? I can go there, buddy. I was raced there. I go to work there. There we go. All four teams. So cool. Let's blow our horn with that as well, giving us um, doubling the um, standard bonuses for like five seconds, I think. But then we can increase it to, oh, look at that. Our boys are just absolutely brutal. Love it.
Very beautiful. B E A U T I V O L. And those guys are still alive, and they're only Axemen, ladies and gentlemen. And Cleopatra, bless her heart, is still going strong. Not for long, though. There we go, blue. It's okay, man. Oh, I love it that they've just matched up, completely synced up their uh, attacks. And I'm gonna take advantage of that one for sure. Let's decrease the javelin reload time. There we go. Got another. I think I'll actually gonna go for. I do have a very good um, bonuses on attack speed. Look at that, 15%, 15% on both attack speed and movement speed. And then, of course, when I blow my horn, I get 30%, 100%, negative 20%. Hmm, I think, uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to increase our income. So, actually, I'm going to go with a decrease in cost. Because, like I said, we're not going to be able to take any more bases to increase our income. So I will have to just make sure that the money I uh, actually get, that they are um, used more efficiently. And that means buying troops at discount prices. Making, recruiting the Walmart version. Okay, there we go. Another confrontation between yellow and blue and I am completely safe but like I said I just wanna mess with blue or with yellow rather for as much as I can so let's give them a two-front battle shall we okay and now yellow is done for right there so we're gonna pull our troops back get our last upgrade for the standards now it's full and Glorious, just look at that. So cool. Okay, and now we're gonna get yet another volley of pilas available. But it's not that it's not it's not very effective when I only have like five dudes throwing them. So I'm gonna run back, recruit a couple of uh, immortals, and of course if I they cost I don't know if they cost maybe they cost like thirty regularly but now I have the discounts of 20% which is going to give me a price of 16 if I were to blow my horn I were to give, get an even better discount but I think 16 instead of like 20 or 25 that's that's absolutely good enough and these are some absolute bad boys as you can see on the stats to the right they have 100 HP 25 damage not that far ahead for my Axemen, but Axemen, but still, it's um, it's not an insignificant amount by any measure. Pink is racking up points. Not if you look up to the left, but they are starting to. Oh, it was yellow. I thought actually pink was trying to capture both um, both flags at once. Hello, pink. Pretty in pink, but I have some dudes ready for you. Cool. Okay, there we go. Now we got some more eco and we got some jabbies. And we're gonna absolutely put the herd on these guys. Blowing the horn. Look at that 30% attack speed. It's like walking into a lawnmower, basically. I would assume, not that I've ever done that, because that would be very counterproductive. Come on, come back. We need to capture this flag. Yellow is running that way. Pink is taking over my other flag. My C flag. While I'm taking the D flag. Both yellow and blue are really hesitant. And of course pink is right over there as well. I'm back to having very few troops. I'm actually going to run back, replenish those. And half um, and decrease, cut my um, reload time of the horn by half. Let's see, can I even take this flag? I don't think I can get close enough to it, right? Nope, look at that. Arr! The agility on this bad boy Nebuchadnezzar is not very high. He can't even jump that far, that high rather. Okay, but look at the points, I'm still ahead. But yellow, never gonna underestimate yellow. 
Now I have tw an army of 23 units though. That is something. Gonna remove one of my defenders and hire myself yet another immortal. We still have some axemen, like two, who are still alive and those are absolute bad boys. Remember, I mean, I've been in like three confrontations and those are still alive. This is my second... Um, Second, uh, second recruitment of uh, immortals. Yeah, we're making short work of those for sure. Look at that. One minute left, and I am ahead, ladies and gentlemen. And now, even so much ahead that I can start to attack uh, this blue army as well. Running in with my sword. Very good, very good. Okay, we are still alive. Come back here, and there we go. One fistful of jabbies right to their face. Oh my god, I'm taking a lot of punishment, though. Blowing the horn. Look at that. There is no one who can defeat us. The Immortals and Nebuchadnezzar. Absolute badasses come we actually destroyed three armies and We have energy and units to spare the lawnmower of Persia and There we have it ladies and gentlemen a victory after 20 minutes of pure joy You look you can see the stats right here for look at the goal generated everyone got pretty much the same because all of our main bases generated the same amounts of gold However, it's of course a bit different from the ones of us who had uh, more time with the center standards or the center, um, the center outposts or the center flags. But we all had a times one in our gold per minute. Natasha from Egypt is the only one apart from me who actually got standard upgrades or team upgrades rather in that sense that she actually got herself a standard carrier. Greece didn't bother, Gaul didn't bother, and most likely that was their downfall. If you can see the stats right here, this is the team points, of course. Natasha or Egypt, they were in the lead for quite some time, for like 12 minutes. And then I cut ahead by having blue and pink basically do my dirty work for me. Much appreciated. And if you look at the net worth, the um, my net worth soared beautifully 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 so this was a really fun game the Colosseum map first time I played that one and I played it with Persia as Nebuchadnezzar as commander hope you enjoyed the episode have a great day and I'll see you in the next one